Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, has captivated humanity for centuries with its reddish hue and mysterious allure. Today, it is a cold, barren wasteland, but evidence suggests that it wasn't always this way. Billions of years ago, Mars was a planet teeming with rivers, lakes, and possibly even oceans. So, what happened? How did a once habitable world transform into the desolate landscape we see today? Let's dive into the story of how Mars died. About four billion years ago, early Mars looked quite different. Data from rovers and orbiters have revealed signs of ancient river valleys, sedimentary rocks, and minerals that form in water. Mars had a thick atmosphere, which likely created a greenhouse effect, keeping the surface warm enough for liquid water to exist. This water-rich environment might have been similar to early Earth, sparking speculation about whether life could have arisen on Mars. But as we know now, this idyllic phase was short-lived in planetary terms. One of the key turning points in Mars history was the loss of its global magnetic field. Like Earth, early Mars had a molten core that generated a magnetic field, protecting the planet from the sun's harsh solar wind. However, for reasons still debated, Mars' core cooled and solidified relatively quickly, perhaps because of its smaller size. Without this protective magnetic shield, the solar wind began stripping away Mars' atmosphere. Over millions of years, the once thick atmosphere thinned dramatically, leaving the planet exposed to harsh solar radiation. As the atmosphere eroded, Mars lost its ability to retain heat. Surface temperatures plummeted, and the liquid water that once flowed freely began to freeze or evaporate into space. NASA's MAVEN mission has provided direct evidence of this atmospheric escape, showing that solar wind continues to strip away particles from the Martian atmosphere even today. This process turned Mars into a cold, arid desert. What little water remains is locked in polar ice caps or hidden underground in frozen reservoirs. Mars also suffered from a lack of sustained volcanic activity. On Earth, volcanoes play a crucial role in recycling carbon dioxide and maintaining a stable climate. Mars had massive volcanoes, like Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, but they became dormant relatively early. Without volcanic activity to replenish the atmosphere and maintain a greenhouse effect, Mars' climate spiraled into collapse. The death of Mars holds important lessons for us. It serves as a reminder of how fragile planetary environments can be. The loss of a magnetic field, atmospheric degradation, and climate change led to Mars' downfall, processes that could potentially threaten other planets, including our own. Understanding Mars' fate not only helps us piece together the planet's history, but also sharpens our focus on protecting Earth's delicate balance. While Mars is a dead planet in terms of habitability, it remains an object of great scientific interest. Some scientists believe that we could one day terraform Mars, restoring its atmosphere and surface water to make it livable for humans. Others see Mars as a natural laboratory for studying the origins of life and the limits of habitability. Though Mars may have died billions of years ago, its story continues to inspire our quest to explore and understand the universe. The tale of how Mars died is both a tragedy and a cautionary tale. It's a reminder of how dynamic planets are and how interconnected their systems must be to sustain life. As we venture further into space, Mars will continue to serve as a symbol of both planetary vulnerability and human curiosity. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the history of Mars, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic explorations. Until next time, keep looking up.